Okay, on this next one, I'm going to just do a quick sketch of the basic shapes that I see in this face. So I've got the hair, head shape, which is the face shape, and then here's a, a hair shape. I drew this lady at a recent event, and her face is interesting, and I want to try it again. So something else to keep in mind is this T-shape. Tom Richmond teaches uh, the T-shape. And there it is. A super basic sketch. Now let's see what I can do. First off, I'm going to start with the eyes. I'm seeing a, an interesting shape. Got some eyelashes on the bottom. And I'm going to draw in the pupil. Just adding a tiny little highlight. inking that in. And also I can add some extra ink for a shadow of the eye. And she's a little older so you can kind of see the wrinkle under her eye so I'll add some lines to show that. Now the eyebrow. The eyebrow it's not straight across. If you draw a li an imaginary line through the eyebrow to me it seems like it would be angled. It's angled and curved. I'm going to try to draw that in there. I'm going to try to make it maybe a little more angled and a little more curved than it actually is in the photo. Oh, there's the brow of the nose and the other photo. Now, to be honest, I have the like the three-quarter view completely memorized where I can draw it without thinking. And on this photo, she's looking directly at the camera, which I don't practice very often. And so, it's a challenge. So, definitely something I need to learn is drawing from different angles. So, what can happen is you, I get one angle so memorized that when... If I switch to drawing from a different angle, I struggle with it. So this is good practice for me. I'm going to draw the eyelid. And I'm kind of just drawing what I see, but I'm stylizing it and exaggerating a tiny bit. I'm going to draw in the pupil. And one of the mistakes I make is I often, for some reason, especially if I'm tired or something, I'll draw the pupil on this eye bigger than the pupil on that eye. I don't know why that happens, but <clears throat> I need to uh, work on that too. So this eye, this eye brow, I mean, is a little bit different from this eyebrow, so I can probably do something with that instead of just curved and turned down it's kind of have a has a wave to it so let's see what I can do with that and the bottom part is kind of curved down the top part goes like this I'm just putting some lines in it this is very stylized a real eyebrow is not two lines with some lines inside it but it's just kind of a stylized way that I do it especially when I'm drawing at live events because it's fast it looks kind of cool and convincing if I was doing a commissioned art I may do it a little different than that all right now which is next the glasses or the nose let's draw the glasses next I 
I'm trying to decide, should I just use black marker or not? Because her glasses are not black. Let's try it, drawing it up. What it really looks like rather than just a thick black line. And if it doesn't work, we'll just color it in. So I'm just drawing like the outside edge of it. It's definitely not perfect. It's a practice drawing. So I'm going to try not to stress out about these mistakes that I'm making. So there are some uh, color variations in these glasses. Try to draw those in there. Okay, now the nose. Her nose is very close to her eyes compared to the rest of her face. I read in another teacher's book, uh, Jim Vanderkeel's book, that getting the tip of the nose correct helps with the likeness. And that's probably true. So basically I'm drawing it exactly as I see it. The tip dips down, the nostrils, you don't see the full nostril, but this line of this form of the nose goes out like this. That's the edges of the nose, and uh, we could even add like a little dimension line there. Okay, now the smile. It's kind of a small smile. And the way I tell that is that the corners of the mouth, just draw an imaginary line, look up. Does it line up with the center of the pupil? If it lines up with the center or, or inside of that, I consider it small. Okay, start with the middle of it and then And her mouth is not is not symmetrical. It's asymmetrical. But I'm probably not gonna exaggerate that too much. Bottom lip, top lips are thin. And the smile line. Chin up a little bit again so a lot of these tutorials can almost be about don't mess up like I messed up <laughs> if that makes any sense you can watch me making all these mistakes and you just by watching you you could immediately know how to do it better okay got the chin on there Right now the cheek line, I'm gonna try to get it in one fluid stroke and it's not gonna connect right here. If I'm looking at the photo, it actually, what well, you it's what you would consider a double chin, but I'm actually gonna connect it somewhere around here. Same thing on this side. Connect it somewhere around here. Remember the jaw line is or where it bends is way down below the mouth. And then the forehead to me is almost like a perfect square, a perfect rectangle. I'm gonna add some, a few curves at the top here just so that it looks like a forehead and not a box, but I could draw it as a box.
can see a little part of her ear over here. Her neck. Okay. Now I see some cool shapes in the hair. It's here. It's held back by a red or a ribbon back there. And there's another shape here and then the shape at the bottom. So I'm going to try to catch all that without a, a, a shaky line. Not try to get it in one smooth uh, confident line. And if it messes up, I'll just sometimes messing up can actually add to the coolness of a drawing. Now this will be where the uh, red is. part in the hair on this side. Same thing, I'm looking at this shape. It's a long shape that curls around like that. So, let's see if we can get that. And then there's a shape behind that that curls out. Starting to look better, I think. But okay, now this shape here, this hair shape here, has like a flip to it. it. Flips out this way a little bit, changes direction, and then around the ear it does this. Now, using the small side of this marker to try to get some of these hair flow lines. Here, I'm keeping in mind that this, this ribbon or barrette back there, whatever that is holding your hair back, is holding the hair back. So the f hair flow lines are going to be extending out from that and then reaching to it. And then this hair shape, the hair is coming from underneath all that. changes directions again down here. And this is definitely not the only way to draw caricatures. Uh, just This is just my simple style that I kind of use at live events. But there are lots of different ways to do it. I love watching other artists do their thing and then uh, trying to emulate it and learn a little bit from it on how they do it. I might even be at a live event and decide, hey, I'm going to draw this one like my favorite artist that I was watching on YouTube the other day. And then I go back to my own style. couple of wrinkles there so I'm gonna just draw some light lines and I think that's it on my next video I'll take this into procreate and try to improve it but please let me know in the comments what you think I'll see you on the next video